BTC accumulation rises as USDC holdings decrease, exploring the connection, cryptocurrency investments and US dollar depreciation. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we discuss all things crypto. In today's video, we're going to explore a recent trend in the cryptocurrency market that's caught the attention of many investors, the rise in Bitcoin accumulation and the decrease in USDC holdings. And more importantly, we'll try to uncover the connection between the two. For those who may not be familiar, Bitcoin is the largest and most well-known cryptocurrency in the world, while USDC is a stable coin that's pegged to the US dollar. So why are investors accumulating Bitcoin while decreasing their holdings of USDC? One possible explanation is that Bitcoin is known for its potential for high returns, despite its volatility. In contrast, USDC is designed to maintain a stable value relative to the US dollar. As more investors accumulate BTC, the price tends to rise, creating a self-reinforcing cycle of demand. Moreover, some investors may be reducing their holdings of USDC as a way to reduce their exposure to the US dollar. As the US government continues to pursue policies to stimulate the economy, inflation has been on the rise. This inflation can erode the value of the US dollar over time, leading investors to seek out alternative investments that are less tied to the currency. Bitcoin, as a decentralized and global currency, offers a potential hedge against inflation and the devaluation of the US dollar. But, of course, these are just some possible explanations for the rise in BTC accumulation and the decrease in USDC holdings. There may be other factors at play, such as changes in investor sentiment or regulatory developments that impact the cryptocurrency market. Regardless of the exact reasons for these trends, it's clear that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies continue to attract significant interest from investors around the world. As the crypto market continues to evolve, it will be interesting to see how these trends develop and what implications they have for the broader financial landscape. That's it for today's video. Let us know your thoughts on this topic in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the world of crypto. Thanks for watching.